Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Tutally a guide to learner here. This is Shripana. I hope all of you are doing good and today we are going to make a very interesting video on Japanese model and that is called just in time model and you know just in time model is one of the most interesting and most important model according to the UGC net syllabus. So I think that session would be a very very interesting and beneficial to everyone. So now going to the main topic but before going to the main discussion uh, so at first uh, you have uh, some problem on it so please uh, do some comment uh, in my comment section I will reply you positively and if you have missed my previous session so just go and check my first comment and my description box where my last session link is already provided and if you like my video so please do one like share and comment and please do some support and subscribe my channel for getting more useful session now going to the main discussion so uh, today we will discuss Japanese model of change that is just-in-time approach okay so you will know that just-in-time approach is basically one of the most interesting and important topic according to the UGC net syllabus so that's why it is very very important and I hope that session would be a very very important and beneficial to everyone okay so what do you mean by a just-in-time approach so basically it is a, a management or inventory strategy which employed by companies to increase efficiency and decrease waste by receiving goods only as they need them for the production process so basically it's a philosophy of manufacturing based plant uh, manufacturing uh, manufacturing companies which is based on plant elimination of waste and continuous improvement of the productivity so just in time approach basically focuses on the elimination or decrease uh, decreasing waste materials and the continuous improvement of productivity and which implies basically increasing efficiency in the production process. I think the meaning of just-in-time approach and what is the basic meaning of this approach which is clear to everyone. So after Second World War, market share diminished. Japanese manufacturing company looked for a way to gain the most efficient use of limited resources because that time there was limited resources so market share had already diminished that time so that this is the basic uh, reason for introducing just-in-time approach okay and you all know that just-in-time approach is basically one of the most important approach of all Japanese model of change and uh, so that's why this uh, approach uh, basically focuses on elimination of waste and continuous improvement of productivity and that thing we have already told I think the meaning of this thing is clear now going to the objectives of this approach. So objective is it helps to reduce non-value added activities. It helps to eliminate of in-plant inventory, in-transit inventory because you all know that just-in-time approach is basically a management strategy and inventory strategy also. So that's why the objective, uh, the one of the most important objective of this model is basically in-transit inventory quality and reliability improvement so just in time approach is an inventory strategy where materials are only ordered and received as they are needed in the production process and the so uh, the goal is goal of this approach is to reduce cost by saving money on overhead inventory expenses so this is the basic meaning of a just in time approach so do you know learner what are the functions of just in time approach so basically it involves keeping stock levels to a minimum stock arrives just in time to be used in production and it works best where close relationship between the manufacturer and the suppliers so goods not produced unless firm has an order from a customer it aims uh, to get a highest volume of output at the lowest unit cost because we have already told the goal of this model to reduce cost by saving money on overhead inventory expenses okay so method of production is control and uh, no demand no production so this is basically a planned consumer demand this approach is basically implies planned consumer demand that 
triggers the production process that triggers the finished goods assembled just in time to be sold to customers so components or the different parts of the uh, goods basically assemble just in time to become finished goods materials purchased just in time to make components uh, to make a finished product okay so the all activities all act also basically the all things all activities are done uh, in just in time because you know uh, the goal of this model is basically to reduce cost by saving money on overhead inventory expenses because if you follow this approach so you don't spend any money on inventory part because in this approach all activities are done in just in time basically it is a planned consumer demand that triggers the production so finish good assemble just in time to be sold uh, to customer components parts assemble just in time to become a finished goods materials purchase just in time to make other uh, components okay so i think this is clear uh, why uh, is there no inventory uh, expenses okay so learner we have already discussed objectives goal functions of this model so now going to the next concept that is principles of this approach so most important principles are total quality management inventory management human resource uh, management so at we have already told uh, the just in time approach is basically a management strategy inventory strategy because you know there is a no inventory expenses so this is the basic reason uh, for everything is done in just in time so now going to the next concept that is advantage and disadvantage so advantages are so reduction in standard hours throughout the time capital uh, is not tied up in stocks the third one is it requires less space it is closely related with the suppliers it helps to reduce deterioration it helps to less vulnerability uh, to fashion and technology changes it helps to increase cash flow production and it helps to reduce in stock holding cost that means the inventory cost labor cost okay so i think this is clear what are the most important advantages of this model and now going to the last part of this session that is the disadvantages section so basically uh, there is a danger of disrupted production due to the non arrival of supplies danger there is a danger of loss of loss of sales high dependence on the suppliers because you know the one of the most important advantage is it is a close to related with the suppliers so basically uh, there is a high dependence on the suppliers so next one is there is a less time for quality control on arrival of materials because you know every activities is are done uh, in just in time so that's why the uh, there is a less time for quality control and which is one of the most important advantage of this model and now going to the last disadvantage that is it may lose bulk buying discounts because you know this model basically implies no demand no production so when you get some order then you will start your production process and that's why producers may lose bulk buying discounts and you know this is the very important disadvantage of this model also so learner we are done for the today's session i think that session would be a very very interesting and beneficial to everyone i will come again with a new topic new session till then stay tuned happy learning keep commenting do subscribe my channel and better bye bye good night